to start our color mixing activity, making a color wheel, we start with a piece of aluminum foil, three colors, turquoise instead of regular blue, yellow, and magenta instead of regular red because they mix better. We have a sponge and a cup of water and a paintbrush. And then we have an empty color wheel. It's actually better to use a color wheel like this that has only six circles because we'll be using only six colors on this color wheel. So the process we begin is we take the first primary color and we put it in the first circle. We then fill up the rest of the color wheel like this. Here's the magenta or the red. Here's the blue, the turquoise. Here's the yellow. We then mix the yellow and the blue together, and whatever we get, the secondary color, green, gets put here. Then we mix the magenta or the red with the yellow, and whatever we get is the orange gets put here. Then we go over to this side. We, move the, we mix the magenta and the turquoise over here, and we get a nice violet. What I did, even though I used magenta here, and turquoise here was I took a regular red and mixed instead of the magenta here to show you that it's very close orange. Over here I used a regular blue and a regular red and I get a deeper purple than I did with using the turquoise. But the differences are basically in looking over here we have regular red and magenta is better for the, the mixing. And these are the two blues. That's the turquoise and that's the blue. I end up using the turquoise but it's because it's better for the mixing. But if it's harder to get hold of the turquoise, you can use blue. That is fine. Here is where the colors were mixed. The orange, the green, the secondary colors, and put onto the color wheel. The color wheel now has all the colors for the children to be able to see, to be able to learn about complementary colors, contrasting colors, and we will get into tertiary colors and intermediary, intermediary colors a different time. Then what they did was make a picture of using uh, an abstract picture using just primary colors, so they get a good grasp on what primary colors are, and then they made a picture using only the secondary colors where they had to mix all of the colors. Now they have a nice grasp on what primary and secondary colors are all about and they have their color wheel and we will continue in a later video further steps in teaching them more about painting.